There's not a huge amount of examples of watch companies that have gone down market to make their watches more accessible to the public. Sure, you have Rolex making Tudor, but that's still very much in the luxury segment. Omega had the moon swatch, but in many ways that was a compromise on what you would normally get with a moon watch. For the most part, a luxury brand, especially one that commands prices of well over five figures, would have to be mad to introduce something that's more accessible to the public. But that's exactly what MBNF did with the mad one. Max Booster is known for making watches that really push the envelope of imagination as well as technical capacity. And the idea behind the Mad One was that he wanted something that friends of the brand, family members, and other collectors could actually manage to buy because a lot of his watches were piece uniques or were models that were simply so far beyond what the general public can afford. Initially released in 2021, the Mad One was a complete departure from what you normally think in pricing terms of MBNF. It was introduced to the public at as little as 2,900 francs. For context, there are plenty of MBNF watches that go for 10 times that. But the idea was that it still captured the essence of MBNF. The lower price was achieved mostly on the movement side. It features a Miyota movement, but it doesn't lose any of the craziness that you get from an MBNF watch. At 42 millimeters, it fits still comfortably on the wrist thanks to a design that is very much like it's a sculpture, not just a watch. The lugs aren't your usual conventional straight lugs. Instead, they're almost like little animal legs that come off of the side of the watch. The case is a perfect cylinder. And the most interesting thing is that when you look at it on the top, you see a rotor. It gives the impression that the watch is upside down and that's because the movement itself is upside down. The custom rotor always gives a level of dynamicism anytime you move the watch on your wrist. But you might be asking, where do you read the time? For that, you actually need to tilt your wrist to the side because all along the side, filled with Luminova as well, are two discs showing the time. The idea behind this is that the theatricality of the watch is front and center, and then the practicality isn't far behind, but it's not the first thing that you notice. Apart from that though, it is still every bit as interesting and quirky as an MBNF watch, but without the huge outlay. Even on the pre-owned market today, these go for around 5,000, 6,000 euros, which while being more than its original retail price, still makes them very, very accessible in comparison to what the normal MBNF models are. And this has also spawned what will be a future line. Max Booster has already communicated that he does intend to keep growing the Mad One line, and it has grown. There are different colors available now. This one we have is the Mad Red, which has this huge shock of red on the dial side, as well as on the rotating discs on the side, and red stitching all throughout the strap. It's a watch that, for lack of a better way to put it, is just a lot of fun. It may be a time only, it may have just a Miyota movement, but every little detail of this just oozes fun and theatricality in a way that simply most other watches don't. And it's an interesting example of how a brand can still create something that's more accessible without diluting what makes the brand special. It's something that Rolex did really well with Tudor, and now Tudor is getting its own identity after years and years of being in Rolex's shadow. So it begs the question, can any watchmaker do this, or is it just one of those small success stories that only a select few can actually achieve? We'd love to get your thoughts in the comments below. Of course, if you're interested in getting this Mad One while we still have it in stock, then make sure to check the links in the description below. And if you like this video, then make sure you like it and share it. If you want to see more videos about watches, then make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell as well so you know when the next video comes out. But thanks for joining us on this quick overview of one of the maddest watches in the market, and we'll catch you on the next video.